Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Loverfella. Today, I wanna to show you how you can do a double layer, triple layer, or quadruple layer wall on your base and arc. So this is going to be a really quick, short, and sweet tutorial video for you guys wanting to really fortify your PVP bases. So what you're going to need, you're gonna need some type of foundation, you're going to need some type of fence post, and you're going to need your walls. So the first thing you do is just place your foundation right on the outside of your house, just like so. Jump up here and then place a fence foundation right on the edge closest to your wall. So far it's pretty easy, nothing to it, but this step, the actual adding of the wall is where it gets a little bit trickier. You have to add your wall on top of this new fence that you just added, making sure you don't place it on top of your old wall. So as you can see, the green color right there is uh, going on the wall, off the wall. So we'll place it here. Be very careful not to break your regular wall. And so now you have two double layered wall, which is really cool. But you can go more, you can stack it on top. Now this is a little bit harder to do. As you can see, if we stand down here, or move around really in a whole bunch of ways, it's kind of inside the stone. And that means it's going to destroy the stone wall. So you gotta walk around, find the position where it's not inside the stone or the metal or whatever your base is made of. Click it there, and now you have a double layered wall. And if we look at the side over here, I did wood because the wood's easier to see, you can see two individual pieces of wood walls connected right here, like the little half slabs right there, each one of those represent one wall. So if I go back and forth, wood wall, wood wall. <clears throat> then, you can just demolish your wood floor, you can demolish your, not your stone foundation, but you can demolish your fence, if I can, if I can get looking at it right. There we go. And your walls stay, just like that. So you can keep doing this, you can keep on adding foundations, you can expand your base outward, make it really, really fortified, which is awesome. But, one other cool trick to know is that our base, had we covered it with all wood, which will be the plan right now, maybe wood or thatch, people are going to fly by and they're going to see this and they're going to say, oh, it's just a wood base, nothing to be afraid of. But inside, we have this metal cube, you know, we live in this metal cube. People see metal, they see my tribe got metal in three days, they're going to see us as a pretty big threat. In PvP and ARC, this is kind of like a PvP tip here, it's all about finding an excuse to raid someone. So people see us get metal in three days, they're going to be like, alright, these guys are going to be a target, we gotta take them out. Or they'll find some reason to attack us, they'll be like, oh, you, you stole our berries, we're going to destroy you. But if you cover it in wood, or thatch, while you're building the inside thick with metal, then it's going to make your base super, super fortified and really, really good for raids. It's going to hold up much stronger, about five, four to five times stronger, depending on how many layers you add. And it's just an amazing trick. And once you get your your uh, your first base kind of set in stone, nice pun there, you need to start adding walls as soon as you can because people are going to hit you once, you once they see you hit stone. A lot of the new players see you as a threat, or a lot of the old players will see you as a threat. So I hope this short little tutorial helped help you guys figure out how to make your double layered walls on your arc bases. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. I'll be doing a lot more short tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.